How's it going everyone? College Lefty and in this video I have for you all a breakdown of the brand new content that we just got released into MLB The Show 20 about an hour ago. Uh, we did get the brand new Dead Ball 1 event as well as the last set of headliner packs that we will be uh, having in the store or at least the, the last brand new featured card that we will have. I expect those uh, headliner cards or at least packs to return into the store eventually. Uh, they kind of did, you know, I believe it was a 1 through 25 headliner set uh, for a flash sale. And then I would expect the same type of thing for, you know, set 26 through 50 uh, for another flash sale. I know that the NFL season is starting up tomorrow. And I would expect to see some content released um, as well. I mean, I would, I would think so. I know we are going to get the Player of the Month program a little bit later. But we do have this set 50 headliner, Max Scherzer, 99 overall card, very good card, very good card. Let's go ahead and talk a little bit about his attributes, and we'll hide the face cam for this. So uh, 103 stamina is actually lower than what I was expecting. I mean, Max Scherzer has probably thrown uh, more complete games than anybody who's been pitching in recent years. I just, that's something that I... I'm thinking of. I could be wrong on that. I just know he's thrown a lot of complete games. Specifically in 2017, though, I don't know how many he had. I would just think that the stamina would be a little higher. Hits and K per nine, though, both really good. 111 and 109. That is certainly solid. And we also have 84 walks per nine to go along with 92 control. So that's pretty good. He does have 84 velocity and 97 pitching clutch. So not bad at all. 99 break is most likely going to be on that slider. He also has a pretty good break on the changeup, I would think, because he has uh, this uh, throws an extremely effective changeup. Usually, when a pitcher has this quirk, it just means that their uh, individual changeup or individual pitch meets a specific attribute uh, for break or control. So I would think you know it could be either one of them. It could be both. I usually see those quirks at around 85, but not a bad card at all. And he also has a cutter. I mean, the live series Max Scherzer was uh, terrible for me. He got lit up. But I did like the fact that he has a cutter. And that's probably the reason why I used him early in the game cycle. But 99 Scherzer, not bad at all. I'm waiting for a Justin Verlander. I know we, you know, I know we have a lot of legends to still come out in this game. And that's kind of why I wanted to segue into these event rewards. Because this event is just, to me, not worth playing at all. Uh, number one thing I wanted to show is in the info tab, there is a brand new stadium lock here, which is pretty cool. I think that's a great feature. I think it you know holds a lot of potential for uh, future competitive modes for esports and just competitive tournaments in general. Why wouldn't they use that feature in the ESL tournament? I, I have no idea. But uh, in an event where we can't really use power hitters, they decide to put it on Hall of Fame which is a little different. I would have liked to see, you know, maybe the last event on Hall of Fame and then this one on All-Star. Um, but I don't know. I don't think I'm going to participate in this one. I might hop into some BR because I haven't really been uh, playing ranked seasons too much. I might, you know, get into some BR training games that way. But free entries, of course, it starts up, or actually the next event will start up on the 18th. Not bad, though. Not bad. I mean, it could have been better, I think. I think that we've, you know, had some questionable events. This one doesn't have the greatest rules, but I don't think the rewards are very good either. I mean, they're all right. I mean, this 92 overall, Joaquin Soria is pretty good. Um, if, if you're a Royals fan, if you uh, also are, you know, building a Royals uh, theme team or I guess just team build in general, maybe you like the Tigers. I do. I like the Tigers and Joaquin Soria played for them i think the reason why this card's good is because he's kind of like a budget eric gagne he doesn't have the splitter but he does have you know four seam change up curveball slider the pitch that i guess you could add in is that cutter that kind of makes him a little different from gagne but he does have that slow curveball the change up in the slider is right around the same velocity the cutter should be coming in you know 89 90 91 that four seamer hopefully touches 95 but pretty solid card all around let's take a look he does have uh, the changeup quirk and the breaking ball quirk. I would assume that that's on his curveball, and of course the changeup. Not bad, not a bad uh, closing pitcher. 
this card, I don't know why they released this card um, in this program or even in this event. Because he has more power, you wouldn't even be able to use this card in the event. And also, we just got two really amazing catchers. In Ivan Rodriguez, we got Pudge, and we also got Mike Piazza recently. And I thought we would see this card a part of a player program, you know, linked up with an inning program for some program stars, or maybe even um, included in the Evolution program, right? Rookie of the Year, Benito Santiago. Well, I guess this would be the, the final card for him. I just, I don't know. I don't really agree with this choice, uh, personally. We do have some packs along the way, which is cool, because this Christy Mathewson is also very bad. I... I wouldn't use this card. I mean, yeah, sure, he can hit a little bit. That's that's a plus. Uh, he also has the Unbreakable Quirk, which is not bad. 99 durability. Um, but this card will get rocked on the mound. He will get absolutely shelled, lit up. Uh, his ERA will probably be around like a 7 or 8. And, you know, some people might think that's good enough. All right, well, that's, uh, that's all right. I mean, you might be scoring a lot more runs than I am. Anyway, I'm looking for pitchers that can keep me in the ball game. This guy is not one of them. Uh, 125 stamina with 110 pitching clutch those are two of the higher attributes i've seen in those two categories of course but the fact that he has a screwball primary the fact that he throws you know four seam that's not really uh, overpowering he does have a sinker which is good his motion though is just not good i mean i'd rather use walter johnson because he's got the velocity he's got more of a deceptive motion and he's got a primary pitch as a fastball i just don't like using guys with primary pitches especially with a looping curveball I, I don't mind a slider as much but the looping curveballs they they can really get you they'll just randomly hang as well uh but 90 and 100 wins we get a couple ducks on the pond packs one's of one of them's an elite yeah but i don't know i don't know i'm curious to see how this dead ball number two event's going to come out or going to be released yeah I, i'm not really too sure about these rewards honestly let me know what you guys think about these rewards um what else what else is there coming out i think we got the player of the month program let's see if we have anything for that if we have a clue if we have a color nothing nothing for august that should be pretty exciting something to keep in mind uh, are these prices on these bosses or bosses on these tops now cards what am i doing here tops now yeah some of them are going up some of them have been fluctuating in price a little bit and you can probably make a good amount of stubs. Um, these cards, you know, could significantly go up in price depending on who they choose, obviously. But also, um, you know, you might be able to just flip these cards and lock them in at a later time. I don't really know how these tops now cards are going to work. But assuming we don't have any more headliners or, you know, with that knowledge being known, we don't have any more of these headliners coming out, I would expect to see maybe the Elite. Uh, ducks in the pond packs return maybe the beach ball packs maybe some more choice packs with a variety of cards i mean we still have a ton of legends we still have a bunch of cards to be released and some of the cards that we've gotten recently have been really good and then other ones i've just been like uh, i don't know i i'm just questioning it but let's open up some packs here let's open up one headliner now let's open up two two maybe three Let's see if we can get uh, let's see if we can get Max Scherzer here real quick. I saw a Brisk Chris Radio. I saw Brisk pull Max Scherzer, and that's pretty lucky. We'll see if we can get him. First one, we're getting a silver, and I have seen people buy these packs at different times, right? Like buy one when they first come out, wait a little bit, buy another one a couple hours later, or maybe wait a little bit, buy two of them. And these are the, you know, these are the last headliners we're going to get. I might as well open them up. I have a bunch of stubs that I'm not even using because I'm waiting for specific cards like Albert Pujols, uh, Willie Mays, different guys, Jimmy Fox, just some players that I'm looking forward to using. And I'm wondering, you know, where, where are they? Where are these guys and why are they not in the game yet? But back to back gold cards there four headliners and i've probably opened about seven headliners that i've purchased throughout the entire year i've been more focused on trying to predict these cards because i think that's a lot of fun i think you know trying to guess with the clues and everything this last one they didn't really give us a clue 
and I was pretty busy yesterday teaching and everything. And today I didn't, I wasn't able to play. I just figured I'd go over the content. But honestly, I give it, you know, an overall grade of um, probably a D plus. I like the Scherzer pick. All three of the other cards that we got are pretty much L's for me. Uh, we we don't really have too much progress on the eighth inning program, but I have tried out um, Pudge and Ty Cobb. I do have Kershaw on my team, and I'll be trying him out. I wanted to use this Jorge Posada at catcher and try Biggio at second. Just moving around the team a little bit, but that's going to do it for this video. Thank you all for watching. Uh, let me know what you all think about the content as well. I'm waiting for some better legends, man. Peace out.